All together, 20 cadets from different underground outfits laid down arms before Chief Minister N. Biran Singh in a homecoming ceremony organized by the State Home Department at the Banquet Hall of 1st Battalion Manipur Rifles today. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister said that central government's development policy for northeastern states had witnessed a sea change ever since Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister of the country. Benefit of one-time financial grant of Rs 4 lakh to each cadre will be deposited in a bank in their names as fixed deposit for a period of three years. The surrendered cadres will stay in a rehabilitation camp for three years during which they will be paid a monthly stipend of Rs 6,000 each. Incentives for surrendered weapons have also been approved. Nine emergency responders have died in a fire that broke out at a multi-storey building in Kolkata last evening. West Bengal Fire and Emergency Services Minister Sujit Bose confirmed that four firefighters, two RP of Jawans and one Kolkata Police ASI have died in the blaze. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee reached the spot last night to oversee rescue efforts. She also announced at she also announced ex gratia of rupees 10 lakh each to the kin of the deceased, along with a government job to one family member. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Modi has approved an ex gratia of rupees 2 lakh each from Prime Minister's National Relief Fund (PMNRF) for the next kin of those who have lost their lives due to the tragic fire in Kolkata, and rupees 50,000 to those seriously injured. Director of Social Welfare Department Ngangom Utam expressed concern over the rise in drugs and substance abuse among youths in the state. Manipur State Legal Services Authority and Manipur Commission for Protection of Child Rights today jointly organized a state-level workshop on prevention of drugs and substance abuse amongst children. Speaking at the workshop, Ngangom Utam appreciated the support of the masses in the fight against drugs. Utam asserted that community participation is an indication that the public is against drugs. Ideal Club Sagolban Terra Kaitel today observed its Platinum Jubilee celebration at the club in Terra. President of the club, RK Tombisana, other club members, RK Nokusana and Murang Temtarun were also present. As a part of the event, founders and late members of the club were honoured by presenting simple gifts. General Secretary of Ideal Club, A. Limba, said that the club has been working for the development of the locality since its establishment in 1946. India recorded 1 crore 12 lakh 44,786 confirmed COVID-19 cases, including 1 lakh 57,930 deaths. A total of 1 crore 8 lakh 99,394 people have recuperated from COVID-19 so far. There are 1 lakh 87,462 active cases in the country as of date, which comprises 1.67% of total caseload, the data stated. India's recovery rate continues to rise and now stands at 96.93 percent. Globally, more than 11.69 crore people have been infected by the coronavirus and 27.21 lakh have died so far. India has begun the second phase of the vaccination drive in which everyone above 60 years of age and those over 45 years with comorbidities will be able to get the COVID-19 vaccine. India's regulator has granted restricted emergency use approval for two vaccines, Covishield and Covaxin. The cumulative number of COVID-19 vaccine doses administered in India has crossed 2.2 6 crore, according to the Union Health Ministry. Manipur registered five new COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 29,296. The state's coronavirus active cases has decreased to 29, while the cumulative number of recovered cases is 28,894, according to COVID-19 Common Control Room. The fresh cases are from Imphal East, Imphal West, Bishnupur and Juribam districts. The recovery rate is 98.62%. The state's death toll remains at 373 for the last one month.